Voyager 1, NASA's farthest voyaging rocket, proceeds with its amazing venture through space, flawlessly communicating significant information from the deepest areas of the universe for almost 50 years. This phenomenal space test has upset our comprehension of space. However, as of late, the space apparatus has been communicating disturbing information back to Earth, leaving the whole space industry in shock. Are these disrupting information the consequence of a specialized breakdown or the exercises of extraterrestrials? Join us as we uncover reality behind these stunning transmissions. Since the beginning of recorded history, researchers have been enthralled by the secrets that falsehood passed our heavenly lines. This interest prompted the historic send-off of the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 shuttles, among other wonderful space missions. These momentous missions, which have been talked about for quite a long time, started with the send-off of Explorer 2 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. Fourteen days after the fact, on September 5th of that very year, Explorer 1 followed suit. These twin tests, each gauging a significant 720 kilograms, comparable to a little vehicle, were pushed into space during a novel arrangement of the outer planets. All through their staggering odyssey, these courageous voyagers explored different directions and speeds, driving to a crucial second on December 15, 1977, when Explorer 1 outperformed its indistinguishable twin because of varieties in their way. From that point forward, Explorer 1 has turned into a significant asset, giving us with a wealth of information and disentangling space-related secrets. Before we plunge into Explorer's startling new revelation that stunned the whole space industry, we should investigate the exceptional pictures caught by the rocket during its pivotal Jovian imaging mission in 1978. Explorer 1 was positioned roughly 265 million kilometers from Earth. From this vantage point, it communicated a stunning number of photos back to Earth. In January 1979, it set out on an exceptional 100-hour try capturing a hypnotizing time slip by film exhibiting 10 turns of Jupiter. A cornucopia of 3,750 pictures permitted us to observe Jupiter's magnificent dance in distinctive detail. In the resulting months, Explorer 1 wandered through the Jovian moon framework, where it made a striking revelation. The presence of a little ring surrounding Jupiter and furthermore, two new moons. The Watts and MES were drawn out into the open, further extending how we might interpret Jupiter's fascinating domain. To guarantee safe entry and prevent a potential impact with Titans, one of Saturn's moons, corrective moves were executed. Explorer 1 proceeded with its heavenly journey around Saturn, revealing four additional moons, Mimas, Enceladus, Tees, Donon, and Re. With the culmination of the Saturn mission, researchers chose to close the Explorer planetary mission, pushing both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 past the bounds of our planetary group leaping through space at an amazing rate of 325 million kilometers each year. In January 1990, another chapter began, the Explorer Interstellar Mission. During this stage, Explorer 1 delivered some of the most notorious photos in history, immortalizing the sun and the majority of the planets. One person who played a vital role in broadening the missions beyond their initial objectives was the prominent stargazer, Dr. Vachel Sands. As a part of the Explorer mission's imaging team, Dr. Sands ardently advocated the idea of capturing one final set of pictures, a goodbye gift to humanity. Against all odds, his steadfast determination bore fruit on February 14, 1990, when Explorer 1 positioned 6 billion kilometers from the sun, left on a visual excursion. This is well known as the To Catch What Planetary Group Family Picture. These stunning pictures, adding up to 60 in number, added to the shuttle's remarkable assortment of 670 photos. During its encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 achieved an uncommon accomplishment. It recorded wind speeds exceeding 13,100 meters per second, making it the fastest wind of all time documented within our local planet group. As the rocket wandered inside 280 miles of Neptune's purplish-blue methane-rich atmosphere, it provided us with remarkable insights into this far-off celestial body. Eminently, Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was revealed as one of the coldest residents within our planetary group, with surface temperatures diving to a frigid 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton's peculiar features, such as its nitrogen gas heaving ice volcanoes that pushed frigid particles five miles into its nebulous atmosphere, also charmed our minds. 
These exceptional discoveries expanded our comprehension of the vast variety and complexity of divine objects living in the farthest reaches of our local planet group. Don't go anywhere. The Explorer 1 rocket has recently made one of its most frightening discoveries. Above all, let's find out what it has achieved in the latest 45 years. The accomplishments of the Explorer twin tests have been nothing short of extraordinary. More than four decades ago, their initial observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons left scientists in awe and broke past assumptions about these remote universes. These moons, once believed to be dormant and heavily scarred like our own moon, turned out to be overflowing with geological activity. Explorer 2, in particular, achieved several exceptional achievements during its journey. It made history in 1986 by becoming the first shuttle to fly by Uranus. Just three years later, it achieved another remarkable feat with a flyby of Neptune. Up to the present day, it remains the sole rocket to have ventured on such a path. As the Explorer rocket continued its journey, NASA carried out various measures to extend its operational lifespan. Over the recent years, unnecessary parts and heaters have been deactivated to conserve energy, ensuring that these courageous explorers can continue their mission well into the next decade. Their estimated mission end date is set for 2030. For the scientists and engineers who have been involved in this remarkable project from the absolute beginning, the culmination of the Explorer missions is both a moment of pride and a tinge of melancholy. Their steadfast dedication and passionate efforts have far surpassed their initial expectations. The wealth of data returned by the Explorers has provided valuable insights, fueled numerous scientific discoveries, and ignited the imagination of countless researchers and space enthusiasts. Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 were no ordinary space probes. They were meticulously designed as stable platforms with a rotation rate over 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This design decision minimized visual blurring as the spacecraft captured images and data while journeying through the infinity of space. Even before their encounters with the outer planets, their impressive imaging abilities began to astonish scientists and the public alike. The spacecraft began transmitting images of Jupiter before reaching the gas giant. These early images, displaying the swirling clouds and iconic Great Red Spot, delighted audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, it was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon, Io, that truly took the spotlight. Io, somewhat larger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in our solar system. The spacecraft's instruments identified peculiar signals from Io, which were confirmed by the distinctive images they captured, towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by volcanic material. Eruptions were revealed. One of Io's most prominent volcanoes has erupted with a force ten times greater than Mount Everest, covering an area almost the size of France. While the spacecraft's cameras were ultimately shut down to conserve power and memory before their journey into interstellar space, it is noteworthy that the photographs they captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. Aside from the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 interstellar probes, NASA has also operated other prominent spacecraft like Voyager 10, Voyager 11, and New Horizons. Explorer 1 passed by Voyager 10 on February 17, 1998, marking the occasion when Voyager 10 became the most distant spacecraft. Explorer 1 continued its solitary journey for an additional 14 years before finally entering the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. Although there were no other space probes in sight to witness, NASA didn't publicly announce this remarkable achievement until 2013. What are the procedures used that ensured the success of the Explorer missions? In the incredible Explorer missions, one method stood out as particularly brilliant, gravity assist maneuvers. These maneuvers played an essential role in propelling Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 on their audacious mission to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. To reach these distant destinations and gather valuable data, the spacecraft needed more than just their own propulsion systems. They needed a boost and gravity assist provided just that. Imagine the two fearless rocket Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 embarking on their grand tour through the local planet group. Instead of relying solely on their motors, they engaged in a celestial dance with some of our local planet group's heavyweight planets. This incredible dance allowed them to leverage the vast gravitational pull of these giants to slingshot themselves on their way. In turn, they could conserve valuable fuel and gain the speed needed to visit various destinations. 
Let's delve into the fundamentals of gravity assist, also known as a gravitational slingshot. The idea behind this maneuver is to transfer some of a planet's energy to the spacecraft as it passes by picture. Explorer 1 approaching Jupiter, a massive gas giant with a gravitational pull to match. With meticulous precision, Explorer 1 swung by Jupiter at the perfect angle and speed. Jupiter's gravity tugged at the spacecraft, accelerating it to a higher velocity and providing it with a significant boost. Performing a gravity assist maneuver requires exceptional precision. If Explorer 1 had approached Jupiter at the wrong angle or speed, the slingshot might have resulted in a disastrous deviation from its intended course. The level of accuracy required is daunting. However, the brilliant minds behind these missions successfully executed these gravity assists multiple times, propelling the Explorer spacecraft on an astonishing journey through the local planet group. Explorer 2, for example, utilized gravity assists from Jupiter and Saturn to reach Uranus and Neptune. These celestial maneuvers were of vital importance in making the Grand Tour possible. The Explorer missions owe much of their success to these gravity assist maneuvers. Explorer 1 continued to reach interstellar space, with Explorer 2 quickly following suit, all thanks to the accuracy of these maneuvers. The concept behind gravity assist is simple, but the execution is extremely complex. Explorer 2's grand tour required a level of precision where missing any of these slingshots could have resulted in a failed mission. However, the dedicated individuals behind these missions were determined and steadfast in their pursuit of knowledge. While gravity assist played a significant role in exploring the universe, another critical component ensured the success of the Explorer missions. The Deep Space Network, DSN, often considered the interstellar phone line that kept us connected to our brave Explorer probes as they ventured into the great unknown. The DSN, though less flashy than a spacecraft, is equally indispensable. The Deep Space Network is a network of massive radio antennas strategically positioned around the world, including locations in California, Spain, and Australia. These gigantic dishes, ranging from 26 to an incredible 70 meters in diameter, act as vast amplifiers, facilitating communication with spacecraft traveling beyond our planet. Let's explore the role of the DSN and the Explorer missions. The Explorer probes, equipped with cameras, sensors, and instruments, served as our eyes and ears in the vastness of space. To make sense of the data they sent and to provide them with new instructions, a robust communication system was essential. That's where the DSN came into play. Imagine the scenario Voyager 1, on its way to the outer reaches of the solar system, sends a message back to Earth. It's a faint signal traveling at the speed of light. As it traverses the infinite expanse, the signal weakens. By the time it reaches Earth, it's barely a whisper. However, the colossal radio antennas of the DSN are poised to capture that whisper. They lock onto Voyager's weak signal, working on it and transforming it into data that scientists can analyze. But the DSN doesn't just receive signals. It also sends commands. The Explorer missions are dynamic endeavors requiring scientists and engineers to adjust trajectories, redirect the spacecraft, or tweak instruments. These commands are sent via the DSN which transmits them into space to reach Voyager and guide it. It operates as a two-way conversation between Earth and the farthest human-made objects in the universe. One remarkable aspect of the DSN is its tireless operation. It works tirelessly 24-7, listening for those distant signals. It's like an unblinking eye on the universe, ensuring that we stay connected to our space probes even when they are billions of miles away. The Explorer mission stands as a testament to the power of collaboration and innovation. While the spacecraft embarked on their grand journeys, the DSN ensured they were never truly alone. It bridged the gap between our planet and the unknown, enabling us to explore the outer planets and venture into interstellar space. Did Explorer 1 experience a breakdown, or were aliens involved? Throughout its remarkable 45-year journey in space, the Voyager 1 space probe has remained healthy, diligently performing its mission. However, in recent times, experts have noticed some abnormalities in performance that have sparked interest and curiosity. Explorer 1 is currently sending peculiar signals back to Earth, creating the impression that it is uncertain about its exact location coordinates. 
What makes this discovery even more perplexing is that the initial data received from Explorer 1 were incomprehensible and unimaginable, leaving NASA scientists puzzled. Upon examination, scientists found that the culprit behind the distorted data was the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS. This embedded equipment is responsible for measuring, reporting, and adjusting the spacecraft's position in space. It has an antenna directed towards Earth, enabling it to send data back home. The malfunction had occurred when the software abruptly changed to sending its telemetry data through a faulty embedded computer that had been dormant for years. NASA engineers were able to correct this anomaly by instructing the spacecraft to resume sending data through the correct computer. Thus, uncorrupted data from Explorer 1 is once again reaching NASA. However, the question that remains unanswered is why the spacecraft switched to the malfunctioning computer in the first place. While NASA scientists have put forward a hypothesis that a faulty command from another onboard computer might have triggered this strange behavior, they have yet to pinpoint the exact cause. To get to the bottom of this mystery, Susan Dodd, the project manager for the interstellar mission, stated that they intend to conduct a thorough memory readout of the spacecraft and fully analyze its operations. This in-depth examination aims to examine the issue that led to the telemetry issue. It is noteworthy that despite the erratic data transmission, the spacecraft itself seems to be functioning properly, and none of the spacecraft's fault protection systems have been triggered. As such, Explorer 1 has not been forced into safe mode, and its signal remains of strength for parts. A possible factor contributing to this inconsistency is the harsh environment of space. Cosmic radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations can pose challenges to the operation of a spacecraft like Explorer 1. Cosmic radiation consists of high-energy particles originating from distant stars and galaxies. These particles can penetrate spacecraft structures, causing electrical disturbances, data signal distortions, memory errors, and data corruption. Additionally, temperatures in the vastness of space can drop to bone-chilling levels or soar to scorching highs putting immense stress on the spacecraft's components. Despite the rigorous testing and meticulous engineering that went into designing Explorer 1 to withstand these conditions, the harsh realities of space can still take a toll over time. Another intriguing possibility that has captured the imagination of some is the idea of extraterrestrial interference. Could Explorer 1's anomalous behavior be attributed to the actions of intelligent beings from beyond our solar system? While this idea may seem more akin to science fiction than reality, it's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. The vastness of space and the countless exoplanets it harbors leave room for speculation about civilizations far more advanced than our own. However, before jumping to conclusions of alien intervention, scientists are diligently examining every aspect of Explorer 1's irregular behavior. Whether the spacecraft's anomaly is due to a technical glitch, cosmic radiation, or something else entirely, remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. The mysteries of space continue to intrigue and inspire us, driving our relentless quest for knowledge and understanding of the cosmos.